want to become a pilot. You have had a vision for as long as you can remember. You incessantly picture yourself inside of the cockpit at the command of a metallic winged beast, in control of your trajectory, and with the knowledge and power to be confident in your safety and that of your passengers. The job title of airline pilots is unique and special. It is a job that many have thought of doing before, but changed their mind along the way. But you can feel that fire burning inside of your chest, the passion continuously drawing you back to the same conclusion. I want to become a pilot. You and only you can make this happen. All it will take is a decision, the necessary steps, a dose of realism and the courage to take that leap of faith. Every good thing in this life is on the other side of fear and uncertainty. And it is that ability to go through this that separates those who make things happen to those who don't. It all starts with a decision. Becoming a pilot is a difficult road that requires discipline, tenacity, resilience, hard work, focus, and most of all, a real passion for the profession. With all that in mind, it is important that you use every advantage you have to push yourself forward and to stand out. From the moment you have made that decision, be aware that your life will change for good. It is of the utmost importance that you start building the required character before you even get to flight school. You need to go about it in an organized manner you need to be proactive, thoughtful, and interested in becoming the better version of yourself every single day. Being a pilot is much more than simply flying an aircraft. It has to do with attitude, the way you carry yourself, the image you portray, and how serious you are about things you do in your daily life. How you do anything is how you do everything, and you will be heavily judged before stepping foot inside a cockpit, whether that is during flight school assessments or an interview to join an airline. You will need to craft a plan. Where do you come from? Which airlines could you potentially work for? Which flight schools are available to you? What are the reputations of these schools and are they good for you personally? And of course, do you have the finances to be able to fund it? No one but you can make this research. Flight schools are pricey investments and you need to establish a strategy to fund them. A bank loan, family savings, a mix of those, and airline sponsorship. You need to carefully explore these options and choose the one that works for you the best. It is all about playing it smart and efficient with your future in mind. Now picture this, waking up in the morning, putting on your suit, your hat, your shiny shoes, heading to the airport and having the privilege to walk to the gate alongside your crew with hundreds of eyes pointing in your direction, filled with curiosity, admiration and dream. Finally reaching the flight deck, going through cockpit preparation and briefings, you exchange a few messages with an air traffic controller whose voice you've heard countless times before. A few moments later, the engines are roaring, the beast is rolling and you find yourself staring at the seemingly endless runway. Place your hand on the thrust levers and ever so gently push them as the gas turbines increasingly sing their glorious song that you've grown accustomed to. As the buildings, aircraft and people to the right of you become a mere blur, you pull back on the control column and feel a sensation that you felt before, but that never gets old. You have taken off. Before the dream you've just pictured in your head can become your reality, you will go through trials and tribulations. It is a privilege that will need to be earned. Every commitment in this life is a leap of faith that requires effort to see through. That is where courage comes in. 
If you have love for this lifestyle, this profession, if you have passion and a vision for yourself in this industry, you are doing it for the right reasons. If you have the consistency, the mindset, and the self-awareness, then you definitely have what it takes to succeed on the technical level. It is mandatory for you to establish good habits when it comes to studying. You will have to be your own critic and set up a to-do list which allow you to designate days during which you will study a number of subjects for a certain amount of time and you will have to elect a day of full rest during the week for example to allow yourself to recharge and come back harder. You will sometimes exceed what you have planned. You will sometimes have to sacrifice study for sleep and over time you will become better and better at planning, judging and applying yourself to take those boxes off of your list and make progress. You will mature as you go through the path of becoming an airline pilot. Your consistency and your endurance will be tested at times. You will find out about yourself and the way you learn. You will try things, fail, learn from these mistakes and improve yourself. You will realize that academic knowledge is not the end all be all. That how you talk and behave with people, notably your ground and flight instructors, changes the way they perceive and interact with you. Once again, highlighting the fact that being a good airline pilot implies being multifaceted and versatile. You will learn to adapt. It is important to keep your feet on the ground and be realistic when going for this goal of becoming an airline pilot. COVID-19, a pandemic that has been affecting all of us around the world and crippling the aviation industry for the past few months has been the cause of airlines going bankrupt, pilots unfortunately losing their jobs, and a major decline in passenger willingness to book flights. It is an event that is completely outside of our control, and although the circumstances are extreme, it is not the first time outside factors have affected job availability and activity in the airline and aviation industry. It also will not be the last. In times like these, it is important to think clearly and make decisions that will be good for us in the medium to long term. If you're in high school, considering an interesting college degree to pursue while the situation stabilizes is a good idea. Learning a craft, a skill, and acquiring knowledge that you can monetize in the meantime is also something to think about. It's important to capitalize on the current situation to the best of your ability. Do not live in fear. Keep moving forward and make sure you rest when it is necessary to allow yourself to make smart, calculated decisions that work for you. Keep the angle in sight. As a pilot, you are trained to tackle emergency situations which you have planned for and making a decision now for long-term benefit is the best thing you can do. With all this in mind, you have the adequate headspace to pursue this goal knowing that it is possible. Watch inspirational people, expose your brain to healthy and positive content that pushes you towards what you envision for yourself and never lose track of what you're doing all of this for. If you apply these guidelines, you will in no time be looking through the cockpit window, scanning through the landscape in search of a runway to align with and land on for what will be another one amongst many landings that have passed and many to come. Keep your eyes on the prize and always be learning. It all starts from this moment. You have to be willing to get up and go get it. Now remember, for us pilots, the sky is not the limit. The sky is home. Be limitless.